Hey guys, what's up? So you probably here because you want to set up Comfy UI uh, for your AI model generations and you don't want to rely anymore on online tools that the results not really in your control and maybe they're not consistent enough or maybe not looking in too realistic. So uh, just sign up to RunPod. Okay, RunPod is the environment that we're going to run uh, our strong PC. If you have a really good GPU, so of course, welcome, you can uh, run it by yourself. But unfortunately, I have Mac. Uh, I like Mac, but uh, I don't have a strong GPU. So uh, when you sign up, just put $10 uh, minimum. I think it's uh, enough uh, for the start. And you should go to storage. Okay. Then click new network volume. Okay. I'm using uh, EURO1, uh, which including the RTX 4090, uh, which is really strong and good for our needs. Uh, even you can take, I think, the 3090, but I am using this one. Uh, for the name, let's call it like, I don't know, maybe my comfy uh, second YouTube for this instance. And for this, uh, for the size, uh, you can put around 70 or 100. Uh, what does it going to do? It will save all your files, checkpoint, LoRa's, workflows, anything you're going to do in Comfy. In this, uh, it's kind of like drive, okay? If you don't have network, so all the files, when you re reboot Comfy UI, it will uh, reset and you need to load everything again. And it's time consuming and you don't want it. You just want to work uh, smart. So... Let's put uh, for this instance just uh, 20 GB because I uh, just uh, demonstration, but you put 80 or 100. Now click on create network uh, volume. Great. So it's created as you can see in a second. Now you're going to click on deploy. Deploy, it's we're going to choose uh, our uh, GPU that we want to use. Just make sure you are on the correct uh, network. Now choose 4090. Then you're going to go here to change template. Okay, and you can search here for T E N S maybe. I think so. Yeah, no, you can write 2.4.0. Uh, Perfect. You see, Comfy UI Python 3.11 and PyTorch 2.240 by 10. Turn off us. Turn off us. This is all you need to remember. I will put a link down below as well. So you're going to choose this one and we call it uh, train for this uh, instance. Uh, now all the other stuff you don't need to touch here and just click on deploy on demand So uh, it's redirecting the pods. Now you can click on my pods. Great. Now. It's uh, going to download everything needed Okay, uh, so it's gonna take some times uh, Most of the time it's take around 10 minutes, maybe less, but let's wait together You can see also uh, what is going on in the logs. So you can see it's already cloning into Confi UI manager uh, which is what we need. Okay, guys, so uh, it's finished downloading. Actually, now uh, I just had a problem, like the camera was not good, so forgive me. So it was 5.40 when we started, and when the pod was ready to go, it was uh, 5.54, so 14 to 15 minutes, which is good. Not a long time, right? Uh, great. So I will just show you now exactly what I did before. Uh, to run Comfy, okay, you have to go uh, here. You're gonna open the terminal. I'm gonna show you exactly how. You're gonna click on Connect and click on the second option, okay? Port uh, double uh, four times eight, okay? This one. So it's called Jupiter Lab, and then great. So now you're gonna go to terminal. Okay, uh, and you're gonna run dot dot slash run underscore GPU dot sh and click on run. Okay, I'm not gonna do it now because I already did. What's gonna happen? Okay, as you can see, I did it here. It's gonna load Comfy, and then you're gonna wait until you see this message to see the GUI go to. It means that it it's active. Okay. Another way you can know, you, you see the port 8188 will be ready. It means Confi is ready. Congratulations. Now, you're going to click here. Let's do it together. And now, Confi is open, guys. Really, really exciting. I hope you too. Uh, welcome. Welcome. This is not how you're going to see, by the way, uh, Confi on first time. Okay. 
uh, this is because I already uh, play with it before so uh, you can choose here as you can see uh, let's open a template choose the image generation the simple one this is what we are here for right when you see this message just click close great now uh, just just give you a little explanation about what you see here checkpoint checkpoint is like the engine of ferrari okay without it nothing will work it's the fire it's everything it's the base model okay a lot of uh, lowers train on these checkpoints so uh, this is the engine next you're gonna have the positive prompt and negative prompt to make your life easier you can color it for a green and for for red uh, with flux uh, that's what we're gonna use uh, with our model we are Laura so it's we don't use negative but uh, so you can close it here uh, great empty latent image that's the size of your uh, picture you can leave it for now 512 and then in, in the future change it to whatever you working on for Instagram okay sampler this is the settings of the photo okay means uh, each photo and if you work with uh, different models or different checkpoint will uh you will need to play with it to get the perfect image so you can take inspiration from other uh, photos and see what settings they used and then apply it on your own so you, you're gonna play with this a lot and learn how it works VA, vae decode it's the final part before saving the image and save image is the last part you're gonna see the image is gonna be saved on your folders great now the fun part we're gonna choose checkpoints and loras okay uh, to download to uh, our config ui because now it's empty it's uh, nothing here so you're gonna click here on manager then you can go to custom nodes manager and uh, search for civit okay guys so uh, i realized i downloaded the wrong node so uh, i just wanted you to experience as well sometimes you don't do anything right and this is okay this is part of learning so uh as you can see confui already like restarted so we're gonna go and uh, just refresh right and now you're gonna see the the node that I just downloaded okay so now you see cv comfy right uh, what you need to put here is your api uh, key i will have to blur it because this is one of my apis so we're gonna go to civit ai okay go to your settings click on account settings okay and then you're gonna uh, control f search for api and Great. Now you're going to click here, add API key. Let's call it uh, YouTube, for example. Okay. Click on save. Great. Now you're going to copy it. Okay. Go uh, back to Confi. Just paste it. Great. And click on save settings. Now you want to download uh, Flux checkpoint, right? So you can go back. Uh, you can do like this, right? You can go to CV Confi, click on search, base model flux.1D, and most downloaded, and any type we want checkpoint. Now click on search. Uh, it's gonna show you the models. Of course, Flux D, the main model is here. Uh, and we're gonna take something that is, uh, we need to blur it as well because in Confi UI it's uh, no. Uh, restriction so okay guys so i realized what was the problem i suggest you download this uh, flux dev like the original uh, one the original checkpoint would work the best for you uh, so now you will need to i will show you exactly how it looks by the way uh, now the settings is not good but uh, you're gonna go to cv comfy then just search for flux and now just click on down on the first one dev it's gonna be 16 GB which is fine great now you need to load your LoRa right your model LoRa so you're gonna go to file uh, let's go to the uh, and then just go to show files the trained 
a model that you just trained uh, lately and then go to uh, diffusion LoRa file click on copy link okay this is the link to download your LoRa go back uh, go back to the terminal okay it will look like this go to the models okay and go into LoRa just double click on LoRa okay then you're gonna open a new launcher go to terminal and then you're gonna write simple G -A W G E T mean W get then uh, like that and click on enter what will happen it will just load the LoRa inside uh, but you should check okay just rename the LoRa uh, sorry this one rename it let's call it I don't know like uh, Lexi for an example okay and then save tensors okay this is the end this is how it needs to be saved now to refresh Confi, you're gonna click uh, R so as you can see it just refreshed now double click on the empty uh, fill here I'm gonna open you uh, these search nodes you're gonna search for LoRa uh, load LoRa okay now it just look complicated guys believe me it's not so you take you see the K sampler you just take and put uh, the purple one to the purple one okay and then take from the this model here to the K sampler model purple color from clip here to clip and then from this LoRa to uh, the positive prompt okay let's make it a uh, green color again this one let's make uh, for you guys red color and then boom that's it so now your LoRa is connected choose it okay Lexi safe tensors for this instance flux checkpoint is connected we have size great now for CFG I like to use a uh, 2.4 for realism and uh, yeah now um, my LoRa here my uh, the, her name for this uh, sample LoRa is Lexi so Lexi is in a room for example just simple as that and let's click on run as you can see guys it's loading Now it's creating the image. I hope it will not be NSFW, so but it looks fine. So yeah, that's great, right? You can open the image. So as you can see, look look fine. Uh, you can play with it, like make the size bigger. Uh, by the way, Flux working with uh, nine on sixteen, so it fits Instagram, so it's good. Uh, Luxy in a room. Let's ask uh, maybe ChatGPT. You know what? Let's just write Lexi in a room uh, wearing casual uh, suit for job. She look shy and smile. No, no sense. Like this, the the sentence has no sense, but uh, just for. For this section, uh, this second uh, example, so as you can see, it's not taking so much time. It's it's fine, like around I think eight seconds to ten seconds. Flux is a little bit slow. SDXL is better. You can train also your lower on SDXL, by the way, on Tensor Arts, uh, and then just do the same same process. So let's see. Yes, you can open the image. You can see now the quality is not the best. You, you, you should maybe put more steps, maybe 28. Maybe play with lo more LoRa's. If you just want to add more LoRa's, just clone it. Okay. And Or you can use a power LoRa loader. And maybe you, you need to download that. You can search uh, for this node on the manager uh, here. Just uh, it's called RG3. Okay, RG3 coffee, and then you can load multiple LoRa's on the same one. And yeah, that's it, guys. So it's not that complicated to run Confi UI. It's, uh, just download this ch uh, checkpoint Flux Dev, which is 16 GB. Connect your LoRa, 
uh, for the empty latent image choose the one you need for Instagram for the settings last thing I want to show you uh, go to settings as you can see let's say this is flux uh, checkpoint and you can look at the photos here and let's say we like this picture so uh, Let's, I don't know, choose the, this picture. I just want to show you. You can take inspiration from other pictures and see exactly which settings they used. So it's really, really good. And this is how you can make stuff more, more easy. Sometimes this CVT, I have some lags. I, I don't understand why. So you can uh, see the prompt. Uh, you can see here the LoRa's they use. So you can uh, just play with another LoRa's. And uh, yeah. So enjoy guys, if you have any more questions, please put down below and uh, in next videos maybe I will show how you can remove LoRa's, remove checkpoints and uh, maybe face swap and more interesting stuff on the way. So just keep updating and see you on next video.